Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Alright, so, so the potato clock right here, once you uh, put in the copper lead, it runs, see? As soon as I even almost touch it right there, it starts to work. So, as you can see right here, on my meter, I have it on DC volts, my meter, my voltmeter. I read the positive lead, which is the red, and the negative um, lead, which is the zinc. And it reads 1.65, uh, well, 1.66 volts, which is like a double A battery. And so how it works is the zinc is the negative, and so the what the potato does is causes the zinc um, oxidation on the zinc lead right here. And the ions conduct through freely in the um, potato into the copper lead, which is the positive, and that's reduction. And it goes to, travels through here, the current, and it's moving over here to the negative because positive and negative attract each other. And it goes through, or negative positive, goes through the potato, and same thing's happening over here. The, um, the potato's causing the zinc oxidation and then the ions move from this lead to this lead right here to the positive which is the copper and it's reduction and moves through the positive like this a circuit a circuit and so it's moving like a circle and and it's causing the clock to turn on right there so this is the work uh, this is the work applied and so let's see if water right here will do the same thing. So we're gonna fill up water, a cup of water right here, and then another one. Just to prove it to you. And you have to use copper lead and you have to use zinc, uh, or like, you know, a zinc. A nail would work too because um, some nails are uh, coated with zinc, so that would work as well. And this is just a jumper, so one has copper lead, and then the zinc is the negative right here, just like that. See, it turns on the clock. See right here. So as soon as I put it in, ready? Here it goes. Turns on. Make sure you, you gotta keep them separated, the leads, or else it's not gonna work. And let's read the voltage and see. So it's not like the lemon or the potato. It doesn't have the volts in it. It's the chemical reaction that's going on. And so let's go read, um, oh, the negative is the black. So let's go read the leads right here. So I got one, and let's read the leads right here. And I'm reading, look what I'm reading. The same thing, 1.67, almost the same thing going on. But if I read right here, one cup, it's 0.8. So I need two cups to equal one AA battery, or a AAA battery, 1.5 volts. That's what we need to run the clock. So that's how that works. Thanks for watching, post a comment, subscribe to Tampa Tech.